But I was taught about boxing and the true art and the discipline of it is leave your ego at the door, respect your coaches and your opponents, shake your hands after and go about your business. So just because I'm a professional now, I'll never lose what I stand for and who I am. I come up here late 2010. No matter if you're pro, I used to spar pros as an amateur, no matter if you're amateur, everyone's grinding. These boys up here, they represent the country, so they've got pride on their back. Some pros that I work with have come up and been like, do two rounds and been like, ah, my arm's killing me or my back's killing me and then they're gone. These guys spar me day in, day out, as hard as possible because we all want to push each other. And I respect that about a lot of these boxers as well because if they're doing it now without the glitz and glam, imagine when they get that golden ticket to turn pro or if they want to stay on to get that golden ticket to go to, go to the Olympics. They're going to they're gonna perform and they're going to grab it with both hands. And that's why when I watch these lot, I just know that they're going to do well because of their attitude to the sport. Uh, I'm on my way to the top and then none of these niggas can stop me. They take it L after L and these niggas so free they can pop me. I take a year out the game and these niggas all think they can got me. But I got the keys, the keys, the keys, I feel like Cali. They don't want to see me win, but fucking nigga, that's a motto. They don't want to see a nigga hopping out the bird like he hit the lotto. Model like the model, bottle like the bottle, like a nigga hit the lotto. Headed to the top, feeling like I'm dizzy cause it started at the bottom. The camp's gone great. You'd look at all the positives and any aspects that you would want to improve and you take it from there I guess just keep keep adding keep adding it's it's never going to be complete and perfect and I guess as time goes on we'll still keep finding more things that we can do champions will be heard stay hungry stay humble stay loud I like that this is a mad thing oh shit <laughs> Look at the fucking gold, that's mad! That's a mad thing, bro. This is solid, bro. Thank you very much, man. Are you ready for becoming a, le a legend? No. I don't want to be a legend. No way. Um, stuff like that will probably drive me to stop boxing. I just want to fight, man. I just like fighting, I don't want nothing else. Um, I'm happy with my friends, the people I work with, and I just enjoy fighting. No legendary status. You know, I like to be a man of the people. I would like to probably jump in the crowd and sit down with them. When you're a legend, sometimes you have to disconnect yourself from reality, and I don't want to do that. I want to be with the people. The difference between myself and Klitschko is that I think Klitschko had a great career. He's reigned for such a long time. And I think whether it's now or a year or two down the line, I think he's coming towards the end of his career, naturally. The IBF heavyweight champion of the world, AJ Anthony. It's all mind games this game as well. It, as much as it is physical, they say a lot of it's to do with the mind, isn't it? So this is what this is about right now. It's interesting, right? It's the first time that one of my opponents has sat at the edge of the ring, analyzing, watching what's going on, but you know how it goes, press conference, weigh in. Fight time, baby. It is the same as every other fight week, but the stakes are higher. The support has definitely grown. I can definitely see like fight by fight, the support and interest is growing. And that goes down to the type of fighters I fight. Him up. So which way is it? Yeah. You know where the presser is? Yeah. Yeah, just left him straight. Keep going straight. You can see your name on the table. <laughs> to say we have one hell of a fight on our hands on Saturday night. And we challenge again. I feel young, hungry, humble, and totally obsessed. 
even though it's such an amazing event, I always try to strip everything back down to reality and what it really is and just focus on it's just me and a man coming to blows and the best man will win. Doesn't matter about who I'm fighting. I just enjoy what I do. I embrace every opportunity. And I think failure is about trying. That's why I'd always step up to any occasion. What do you think happens on Saturday night? I win. I win. No, it's not complicated. It's not complicated. Because I have a break before the fight, my personal physio comes over and he gets really deep with the acupuncture. So instead of doing maybe 20 needles, he'll do 40 needles. And then he'll get really deep with the deep tissue massages to loosen up the muscles. So it gives me enough time to recover. And that final physio session is like a breath of fresh air, that release. AJ, hey, do you want to have your head? Yo, you good. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> What's up, brother? You know how it is. <laughs> Just kicking back. Good man. My G. What's your good luck, man? Come on, bro. We're gonna handle yeah. business. You know what? I gotta tell you, right now you're one of my favorite fighters, man. And you're you're Thanks. one of my favorite musicians, straight out of Compton. Um, yeah, man. The, the film you did, unbelievable, what you've been doing. Thank you. Still grinding. How's the, how's the gym going? You still banging weights? Yeah, yeah, I'm doing it. I'm getting to it right after this. Man. Yeah. <laughs> nah, I appreciate it. I was with some friends last night in the studio. We were yeah. looking at some of your highlights, man. And the most popular saying was, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I just said when I saw you on the phone. I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> Yeah, uh, man, but uh, yeah, good luck this Saturday, man. I, you probably won't need it, but uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll do my best, but listen, to say that. And you're also, thank, thank you for everything you're doing with Beats. Nah, 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 nah. don't mention it. Like, it's, it's amazing because you know how it is, right? When you come from the ground up, to have guys like you, Alex, obviously bringing it to fruition, making these things possible, and, and you lot are projecting our story to a different audience. So it's amazing because you know what it is that that kid from there is now projecting his message to a massive audience through your channels. It's amazing. It's Thank amazing. you so much, man. Just trying to be inspirational as much as I can. You know. You still remember where you come from, man? Eh? Oh yeah, absolutely. It's crazy how far you come. It's crazy how far you come. Where I go? Yeah, man. It's crazy how far you come. Yeah. You know? Well, good luck to you, man. This Saturday. Bigger. I was listening to last thing. Um, Dr. Dre, let me ride. We was listening to that yeah, yesterday. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, we still bang all those tunes, man. That's what's up, man. Big, big up for being a massive inspiration. Thank you, man. God bless, bro. Yeah, good luck to you. All right. Yeah, boom. Anthony Joshua. That's our next heavyweight champion, baby. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get it. <laughs> 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 That's oh, mad. <laughs> that's sick, isn't it? Yeah. That's mad. Bro, that's mad, you know. Dr. Dre's a fucking legend, bro. A proper legend. <laughs> I was like, oh and shit. It's just like, <laughs> mad. Really, bro. Hey, you nearly called him a magician. Yo, you're one of our favorite magicians. <laughs> 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 Today we had a press conference where we done a lot of talking. There's things that I wish I could have said. You always realise what you could have said after the press conference, but it's all good. Um, it was a massive turnout, you know, unbelievable turnout. Now it's just time to switch off and chill out um yeah like i don't like sleeping i like to enjoy my day and max it out and just kind of go to bed when i really am on my last legs but i need to rest i have a fight to focus on and rest is key in my in my industry isn't it? even though like we like business we like to be entrepreneurial I'm a fighter, I'm an athlete, so I have to make sure I get my rest in, so I've got to rest in this comfortable bed. Tomorrow, new day, 
a day away from the fight and we just gotta stand on the scales, we weigh in, you know, there's a, it's gonna be a massive turnout. Um, and it's like the eye to eye, because this is the closest you're gonna get, you know, shirts off, sizing each other up. And uh, it's, it's quite an interesting time because it's the day before the fight and the next time I'm talking to you guys and I'm going to bed tomorrow, as I wake up will be fight day. I sold a hundred media. Yeah, hundred percent. Because he had, yeah, no, yeah, you unconscious. Why does it It is gonna, it's happening anyway. No, I say this. No point in getting wound up or using energy because it's gonna come. It's gonna happen. Yeah, 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 yeah. Got to do training there. God bless. I think sometimes you just gotta let your natural path find itself. The fans and all this and uh, people come in and I've just learned to just embrace it and naturally let whatever's coming my way come my way. They say don't try and be a role model just be real because a role is a role. That's why I don't do it for anyone else except for myself. I'm just trying to be real and just trying to make something out of boxing because, as I said, before boxing, who knows what I'll be doing. Yeah, I can hit it. Is it better? Yeah, I can hit it. All right, so if you go on your side, I think just mobilizing around here for a bit. If you go on your front. On my front, yeah. Yeah. Oh, he's a little bit down on, uh, on his left rotation, so I just get that as fluid as possible, yeah. That's basically my rest day, Rob. <laughs> it's like the last little MOT before we take the car on the track. Try it again for me, mate. Keep building on that around the rib, maybe. That could ease it. Better? Oh, it's true, but look. It's pretty even. Yeah, yeah, there you go. The more you do it, the more loose it gets. Yeah, let's do the work around there a little bit. After I get up off that table and I shake my arms out, I shake my back out. I should be feeling ready to go, and that's why that last video session is so important for me. I don't want to like get so excited that the jar gets too full and is ready to explode before I've even had the fight. So I'm just trying to stay calm, but like sometimes when I'm lying in bed, it's like I can't sleep. I'm just like thinking about it. It's like, oh, I can't wait to perform. It's going to be sick. But I'm like, let me just, it's just another day. I've got to see it as another day. So it's like, you're constantly in a mental battle with, do I stay relaxed? Do I just enjoy this moment because of what it is? So you're just in a mental battle with how you deal with this type of occasion. And it's good because it tests you. Um, I listen to like motivational clips on my phone about mentality and how to control your mentality. And um, I learn a lot about myself through this time as well because athletes train physically, but what people should remember as well is that there's a massive mental side of it as well that you have to overcome. What breakfast really stands for is to break your fast. So when you haven't eaten overnight, it's like the body has digested, broke down the enzyme so it's like a breaking off fast so sometimes fruits is light gives you the minerals and the vitamins you need and you want to start it up again so that's why this morning i didn't want to just eat too heavy put a lot of strain on my body as it's just woken up so i want to just give it a lot of energy with the fruits <laughs>
when I'm in that change room, it's like, we're here now. I've done all the hard work. Let's just have fun. So um, rather than putting pressure on myself, I just go out. And I said in the changing room, before I actually got to fight, I'm just chilled. I'm with my boys, watching a bit of TV. I've got my tunes on. And I'm about to show the people who support me what I'm about. So yeah, it's pretty laid back, man. It's no, it's no stress for me. You know, I, I don't mind who I'm fighting or where I am or where I'm fighting. I've waited months for this opportunity. So like, let's get it on. the return to championship glory. Now, as a professional, his record stands as a perfect one. I always say take it round by round, but people love to see blood. Boxing is a circus of blood. They come out to see people get beat down, knocked out. And it's just what we have to do. I just got lazy, I stopped moving my feet. All you have to do, if you're not punching, you stay off the line. You don't stop punching and stay where you are because you're easy to hit. I just got tired, I got lazy, I kept my feet where they were. Pitchcock looks for that right hand, he shakes his head as if to say, you're not landing that one again. Instead of riding the shot, I ducked my head and took it full force. And I just dropped, got back up and continued to fight on. It's alright saying it, but it's not the thing doing it if you feel it. Oh, oh, 